Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 11. That is, what is required for a tester to know before testing software applications? Let me answer this question. There are several things that a software tester need to know before performing the testing of the actual application. First thing is understanding the requirements, okay? Understanding the application, guys, by understanding the requirements and other stuff, we have to understand the understanding the application is the first one. If you don't understand anything in the application or if you don't understand any requirements of the application, we need to clarify them, okay? We need to ask the doubts and clarify them. First important thing that every tester need to do before starting the testing is understand the application, guys, that they are going to test. Second thing is domain knowledge. Every application has some domain, right? For example, there are banking related applications, then there are like education related applications, there are finance related applications. No matter which domain the application falls into, okay, we need to have the domain knowledge. For example, if you are going to test e-commerce application like Amazon or Flipkart kind of application, if you are going to test, you should have some e-commerce knowledge, domain knowledge, okay? So we should gain some domain knowledge in advance before we start the testing of the application. Next thing is, what functionalities we have to test, okay? Before you start the testing, you need to know, we need to test all the functionalities of the application or only few functionalities of the application are in scope and few functionalities of the application may not be in scope, guys, okay? So we need to find out what functionalities are there in scope, okay? In scope and out of scope functionalities, okay? We have to know. So because every time, we cannot uh, assume that we have to test the entire application, okay? The application may be very big and uh, the client may ask you to only test some portion of the application. So which portion of the application you have to test? What is in scope for you? That you have to know before you start the testing. Next thing, test data guys, okay? Test data. Test data plays a very important role in testing, guys. okay? So in the beginning itself, okay, before you start testing the application, just find out if the, the client people have any existing real time data or not okay the, the application is already there maybe the real end users are already using there is a chance that the realistic data may be there with the client okay that that can be copied from the database and all those stuff okay you can ask the client for the data because we should give a importance at most importance to the test data guys we have to prepare the test data and if if required we can collect the test data that is already available with the client and so on guys okay that is very very important okay Test data plays a major role in testing and it will be able to find if you are if you are able to use proper test data while testing the application, you will find most of the defects, guys. Okay. That's that's much uh, important it is. Okay. Don't uh, neglect the data, guys, and don't uh, collect the data at the end of the project and all. Try to collect the data that is required for testing the application in the beginning itself, okay? From the client and all, if there is a possibility. Okay. So test data plays an important role. So Collecting the test data and preparing the test data is another thing that we can do. Then next one is test environments, okay? Test environments, guys, okay? You will not be testing the application only in one environment, right? Like Chrome browser, it's not done, right? Once you test in Chrome browser, it's not done. You have to test in other browsers, like uh, which are popular in the market apart from Chrome, like Firefox, uh, Internet Explorer, Edge, Safari, Opera, and so on, okay? What are the different test environments? in which you have to test your application. It may not be browsers always, it may be operating systems, it may be devices and so on, okay? So what are the different test environments in which we have to test the application? We should be clear, okay? Before you start testing the application, we should be clear which environments we should be testing the application. So understanding the application, domain knowledge, in scope and out of scope functionality and uh, functionality, this is uh, test data. Next one is test data for testing, then test environments, then what else is required, guys? You see, uh, every application has this uh, front-end and back-end technology. It's good to know, guys, okay? The different front-end technologies and uh, back-end technologies that are implemented for developing the application, okay? What are the, the, whatever the application that you are going to test, that application is using which front-end technologies and which back-end technologies, like which database and all those stuff, okay? Technologies are used. Front-end technologies like JavaScript, AngularJS, ReactJS, okay? That kind of things. Better to know. Then we need to know what are the different types of testing, okay? We need to know what types of testing we need to perform on the application, okay? It's not just every time we'll not 
test only the one type of testing right we have to perform different types of testing sometimes you have to perform accessibility testing okay so security testing performance testing functional testing automation testing or what type of testing we have to perform okay testing types to be performed simply we cannot directly start testing the application right we need to know which type of testings we have to perform functional non functional automation manual like that we have to know all the types of testing that are required for the application to be tested okay so testing testing types to be performed next thing is uh, the business of the okay business of the application what this application business is all about okay for example if you take an e-commerce application like amazon what is the purpose of the business selling and okay selling the goods and purchasing the goods online okay selling and purchasing the goods online is e-commerce application like amazon and flipkart so what is the business okay what is the business it's based in india or it's across the world you are selling selling the products or something like so i'll be writing the client business here okay what is the client client application application business okay so without knowing what what the business uh, what business this application is going to make and all those stuff there is no use of uh, testing right we have to understand the application okay in business point of view uh, then next uh, client business uh, regarding this application and next one next one is like uh, in real time how the users are going to use the application okay real time usage of application by real users okay how the real users are going to use the application and get benefited okay what is the actual realistic use of the application we have to understand try to understand that okay we just need to try to understand this okay i hope these are the things guys understanding uh, the application domain knowledge in scope and out of scope functionalities uh what types of testing need to be performed and yeah accordingly guys we have to plan our tools also right uh, based on the types of the testing for example if someone say automation testing is also there like which automation tool okay types of testing to be performed and tools which tools we are going to use we have to know and different test environments uh, test data then uh, client business and real usage of the application by real users we have to know front end back end technologies we have to know okay so all these things if you know in advance before you start testing applications right then it is going to be good guys okay so that will be a well planned move understanding the application domain knowledge in scope out of scope functionality test data test environments front end and back end technology used by for building the application testing types to be performed and the tools need to be selected for during the testing and all the stuff for, for 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 performing the testing client business all about the application is all, all about which client business okay then real time usage of uh, application by real end users so guys this is the answer for this question guys okay so i think i covered all the areas now so with this i am done answering this question in the next session i am going to answer another software testing interview question till then bye